Okay guys, so it has been a couple of days since the update has actually launched and the maximum level of your cookies have increased from 60 to all the way to 70. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already have some questions on who to actually level up first. And in a previous video, I kind of talked about who you should be leveling up. And in front of you guys are going to be my 5 cookies that I've actually leveled up all the way to 70. And that is going to be my guild boss battle team. And here's the reason why. Of course, you need to level up 5 cookies at least in order to use them for the Hall of Ancient Heroes. But in order to make that decision, you need to think about whether you want to focus on your Kingdom Arena, World Exploration, Guild Boss Battle, and etc. However, in my opinion, the reason why I told you guys to invest in the guild boss battle is because of this if you guys go to the kingdom arena right now majority of the battles that you're gonna face especially in the pure vanilla server if you guys are in there uh you're gonna be seeing a majority of a 1 million or plus teams inside of the arena of course there are going to be exceptions especially if you guys are versing ranks that are lower than you however if you guys are you know getting to that master three master two even master one you are going to see majority of the teams being over 1 million and because of the fact that the meta right now is just all over the place there's just so many different teams that you can build and use inside of the arena that counters each other you know it's like playing rock paper scissors right you just never have the right combination every single time so so because of that fact, there is one game mode right now that you can actually build your cookies around that pretty much is going to be very stable and that is going to be the guild boss battle especially if you guys are in a top one two or even three percent guild inside of your server then you should definitely be investing in this right here guys this team right here i've shared previously a while back okay so this is the same exact team that i'm using it is going to be my dark choco right here three searing raspberry two swift chocolate my eclair using five searing raspberry sorbet using five searing raspberry cotton is using five of the swift chocolate and almond is going to be using five searing raspberry with the slingshot jelly watch and scroll okay previously i did around probably like 9 million 10 million uh, 11 million if i got crit on every single one of my cookies but let me show you guys right now from level 60 to 70 how much more damage this team can do to this dragon who is level 59 all right all right here we go so same thing i'm gonna do of course there's that dragon but you know that dragon is gonna make little little difference but here you go i'm gonna be doing the same method that i always do i'm gonna let it run an auto in the beginning allow the you know things to work out and then afterwards i'm gonna switch off where i'm gonna be clicking almonds skill when it is ready okay so here we go okay and then boom okay so there you go that's my run right there okay let's see how much damage i did and boom 10 million okay of course i didn't get crit on every single one of my cookies sorbet didn't actually crit right there either so getting about 5 million right there but still you know the average damage now from what i was getting like 8 million 9 million to higher level dragon now i'm averaging around 10 million all the way up to 11. i hit actually 14 million with all the crits guys so it makes a huge difference and that's the reason why and in order to take advantage of the hall of ancient heroes that's why i'm telling you guys just upgrade your guild boss battle team first which are the five cookies which are going to automatically be set as your paragon cookie so that you guys can take advantage of that level so if you guys look okay of course if you guys are in that top one percent every single week you are going to be getting five thousand crystals and this goes for every server okay hollowberry dark cow pure vanilla wherever you guys are however if you guys slack off on this right now if you guys do not invest in your cookies that you guys use for your guild boss battle the damage output from level 60 to 70 is massive guys it's actually insane how much more damage you guys are going to do when you guys are from level 60 to 70 and even from 50 to 60 okay let's look at this real quick if you guys have every single week you guys do this every single week for a month if you guys are in top one percent then you are going to be getting twenty thousand crystals every single month if you guys are top two percent then you're going to be getting sixteen thousand crystals every single month and if you guys are in top three percent you guys are going to be getting twelve thousand crystals every single month but if you guys do look at the arena okay of course top 30 
are going to be getting 30,000 and top 0.5% is going to get 25,000. But starting from master one, 20,000, master two, 18,000, master three, 17,000, you know, it's going to keep going down. And because of the fact that the arena right now, if you guys do want to climb up, especially for pure vanilla server, because of the fact that I am in pure vanilla server, if you guys do not invest in your cookies evenly for various different teams, it's going to be hard for you guys to start climbing even further, okay? Especially if you guys don't have the opportunity to level up more than five cookies. It's just how it is because the meta team now is not just one specific team. It's not just Hollowberry, Strawberry, Crazy, Fairy, and then Pure Vanilla and, you know, Parfait uh, in every single team, okay? It's, there's just so many different teams that people are using. So in order to get a more consistent reward uh, that you guys can work towards and you guys won't have too much of a flux fluctuating uh, ring it is better to invest in this skill boss all right so that's the reason why i would tell you guys first invest in your guild boss battle team guys and then after you guys are consistently getting these rewards that you guys are already at right and you guys are not losing that place inside of the server wherever you guys are then afterwards you know use your crystals to invest in other things invest in uh gotcha when new cookies come out and then slowly uh, invest in other cookies, right? Using not only the Hall of Ancient Heroes, and then also using your skill powders and EXP star jellies that you have farmed, and then slowly climb back into the arena. It's gonna be a slow process, especially for people who have not had the chance and opportunity to save up your EXP star jellies because you are free to play, you are lower level, you know, you just never had the opportunity uh, to farm enough uh, because, you know, you've been chasing after meta after meta, then slowly uh, get back into it, guys. This is gonna be a long race now. They're not gonna increase the level cap for probably another year because that's how it was previously as well. You know, it took a, about a year since they uh, increased the level cap. So, you know, you have time. Take it slow. It's only been about a couple of days, right, since the update has come out. Don't rush it, guys. So I would tell you guys, especially if you guys are in pure vanilla server and if you guys are in top rank in your guild, then definitely invest in the guild team and then use the other resources for teams like the arena if you guys want to focus on arena or focusing on your you know mayhem uh you know cookie alliance and things like that or even world exploration right but that's just my opinion uh my tip for you guys and what i would suggest for you guys to do of course if you guys do have something else make sure to leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think and what you guys would suggest uh invest in first for your five cookies, especially for your Hall of Ancient Heroes. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again. I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future cooking kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and see you guys all on the next one.